My talk of the table topic is about that famous muscle car that King of Cool Steve McQueen drove in the classic 1968 movie Bullet. Take a look. This iconic scene gave birth to the modern day car chase scene. The 1968 Mustang GT became a legend, especially after it disappeared for decades. Now it's resurfaced and is up for auction today. The Mustang is expected to go for millions. Mark Strassman is in Kissimmee, Florida with the car and its story. Mark, I am especially jealous today. Take us for a ride. <laughs> Nice. Anthony, I know you're a car guy and you're going to appreciate this. Here it is, the Bullet Mustang behind protective glass. This is an American icon on four wheels. We're going to pop inside the glass box in a second, but first, listen to the car story. It has taken one American family on the ride of a lifetime. In this sea of supercars, only one rev star power. Not these Porsches or Ferraris, not this million dollar McLaren Senna. Nope. This is the Star Car, a rusted, dented, Highland Green 1968 Ford Mustang GT Fastback. It's worth a fortune. This is the holy grail of muscle cars. It's the holy grail of Mustangs. Dana Meekham owns the world's leading auction house for collector cars. This will pretty much be the first American muscle car to sell as art. It's going to sell as pop culture. Here's why. The movie Bullet and this 10-minute thrill ride on the streets and hills of San Francisco. It reinvented chase scenes for Hollywood. Man and Mustang, Steve McQueen and his classic pony car, the epitome of old school cool. Even faster than McQueen's car, it's disappearance after the movie. Collectors have chased it ever since. It was never lost, I mean, it was always in the garage. Sean Kiernan's father bought the Mustang in 1974. It's kind of the Craigslist of the day it was the road and track, of, you know, then and uh, found a 68 Fastback Mustang. Found it in this back page ad. McQueen's Bullet Mustang, best offer. Robert Kiernan paid $3,500. He's the only one that showed up, paid for it, took off and ended up in the driveway. Robbie Kiernan is Sean's mother. She drove the car to her job every day as a third grade teacher in New Jersey. Back and forth to school. Yeah. It was just, you know, uh, loud. Uh, I'd have to drive through the center of Madison, and they all knew the car. Uh, here she comes. I mean, you were driving a multi-million dollar car. Uh, it was, to me, a used car. In 1977, McQueen tracked down the Kiernans. He wanted to buy what he called my Mustang. They never responded. In 1980, its clutch died. The car was parked in a barn for 35 years. The car sat on jack stands and the world kind of evolved around it. After his father died in 2014, Sean, a 38-year-old admitted car nut, completely restored it himself. 98% original parts and showed it to us in 2018. It still had the camera mounts, a huge hole cut in the trunk for the smoke machine, and the bray of its 390 big block engine. For moviegoers and car lovers of a certain age, this was a joyride. Over the last year and a half, Kiernan has shown off the car around the world. He swore he'd never sell it because he could still see his father inside it. But here we are. Building and unveiling the car has been extremely therapeutic. The car has become bigger than my life. And yeah, I want to go home and I think the car deserves another good home. Will you miss it? Absolutely. I'll miss it most because of the blood, sweat, and tears I've had with her for the past five years. The funny thing about that is I think that she'll miss me too. Ordinarily, this Mustang in this condition would sell for about $25,000. But with the movie, McQueen, and the Mystique, this car at auction this afternoon should sell for between two and five million dollars. Yeah. That's a pretty fair return on a $3,500 investment. Yes.
Anthony? Yeah, but I loved what his mom said. It's just a used car. For some people, it's a priceless <laughs> it's just, artifact. For others, what it's just a, a hunk of junk. Most iconic used car in, in movie history. Mark, thank you very much. They, they what did a great give story. it a good home, but it they would have did. been hard if Steve McQueen had written. I, I, I don't no, know. No, I, I love that they caved. didn't even answer him. I would have caved, but they did give it a very good home. <laughs> what a great beautiful. story. What a great history. I love Mustangs. My mom bought a Mustang in 1988. She yeah. broke up with my dad, who deserved to be broken up with. <laughs> okay. Purple red Mustang, convertible. I remember going 100 on a straightaway near the Everglades. You, you know, your dad's going, thanks, son. <laughs> he was like, I wonder where that car went. I wonder what that car is worth today.